A few months ago, I was tagged by Amanda from the channel Fandom Matters to make a video sharing three reasons to watch my favorite TV show at the moment. And right now, for me, that show is The Magicians on Sci-Fi. I love this show so much, I binge-watched the first two seasons in time to watch season three as it's been coming out every week, and now that season three is over, I cannot wait for more episodes of this show. So reason number one to watch The Magicians is that it manages to be both silly and serious, and it takes that silliness very seriously. I love that it can be a total romp while also being scary and sad at the same time. Yes, it can be a bit confusing at times because you really don't know what they're going to do next, but I find it to be a wild ride and I'm personally very happy to accept the reality that they've put forward because it's really entertaining. Okay, so reason number two, so many pop culture references. There are tons of Buffy and Game of Thrones and Harry Potter references. The last episode that I watched used the word horcruxing more than once. There have been musical numbers in every season so far, which I love because I love musicals. There's even an episode where two characters have an entire conversation in pop culture code because somebody's watching them and they need to be able to communicate something important in secret. As someone who works those kind of references into my own life constantly, I find that to be a really fun part of the show. A lot of fantasy stories take place so far into their own universe that you just kind of assume that other fictional universes don't exist there. But The Magicians is the opposite. Those other stories not only influence this world, but they exist within it. And the main character is basically a Harry Potter fan who finds out that Harry Potter is real, so I'm in. <laughs> And the third reason why I think you should watch The Magicians is that it is diverse. It's just a part of the universe and people aren't treated differently because of any of those things. There are no coming out storylines, but a pretty large amount of the characters are just sexually fluid. Which makes me really happy because a lot of shows just kind of hint at that sort of thing to queer bait their audiences, but never actually go there. Which can be incredibly frustrating and it's the reason why I've stopped watching certain shows. <laughs> The show also features brilliant trans actress Candace Kane, whose character's gender isn't really of anyone's concern because she's a badass and has other stuff to deal with. Marley Matlin signs her deaf character's lines just as quickly as the hearing characters are speaking theirs and the conversation keeps going and nobody even skips a beat. The main character checked himself into a mental health clinic for depression prior to the first episode of the show. The world just kind of accepts people for who they are and gets on with the story, and it's really refreshing. I probably could go on for a while, but this tag is three reasons to watch, so I'm going to stop there. Now that season three of The Magicians is over, I'm hoping to get a chance to read the books to help hold me over until the next season starts. I'm not sure how different the show is from its original source material, but I know a bunch of people who didn't like the books as much as they like the TV show, so I guess I'll find out. What is your favorite show at the moment? Let me know in the comments, along with a reason why I should watch it too. And if you're new here, remember to subscribe in order to keep up with me. Who knows, maybe I'll even start writing The Magicians songs and making The Magicians craft projects. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you soon.